Around the year 1000, we find the first traces of a Jewish community in Alsace. Strasbourg, a free imperial city, began construction of Notre Dame Cathedral, majestic. The South Portal features King Solomon, a blindfolded woman with a broken lance representing the synagogue, and the church, symbolized as a radiant being holding a chalice. The originals of these sculptures from 1225 are preserved in the Oeuvre Notre Dame Museum. Rue des Juifs and Rue des Charpentiers were the center of medieval Jewish life in Strasbourg. Alsatian Jewish families lived according to their traditions with a synagogue, butcher shop, bakery, and a mikveh. This ritual bath, rediscovered in 1984, was used by women for the ritual of purification. In the Middle Ages, the gate known as the Porte des Juifs stood here, which led to the Jewish cemetery. This is where the Jews were murdered on Valentine's Day 1349, accused of poisoning the wells during the Black Plague. This is the Gruselhorn, blown from atop the cathedral to be heard throughout Strasbourg. It was a signal to Jews to leave the city. After the Black Plague, they were no longer allowed to live within the city walls. Judaism in Alsace, which was previously urban, became rural. The Alsatian Museum preserves the religious objects of Jewish life. A symbol of love for the homeland, the prayer to the Republic. During the French Revolution, 40,000 Jews lived in France, half of them in Alsace. The former synagogue of Buxvillers, now the Judeo-Alsatian Museum, immerses visitors in the daily life of the rural Alsatian Jews, who peacefully coexisted with their Christian neighbors for nearly a millennium. The Alsace Echo Museum welcomes visitors in a small house of Rixheim, where an Alsatian Jewish family used to live. A Shabbat lamp, the Mappa, the Hanukkah, and the Tefillin, used by men for morning prayer. The only concentration camp on French soil, Struthof Natzwiller, is located near Schirmeck, the town of remembrance. It was in this synagogue of Schirmeck that a miracle occurred. The Torah scroll was returned after 77 years, collected by a young Alsatian to save it from destruction by the Nazis. Today, the synagogue of Vincenheim seems surprisingly vast, a reminder that this village was home to the largest Jewish community in the Orin before the French Revolution. The Alsatian Jewish community embraced a life guided by traditions of the Rhine Valley. Just like in the cemetery of Mackenheim, this unique site extended across both sides of the Rhine until the 19th century, so Jewish people, German and French, found their final resting place in Mackenheim. The earliest tombstones date back to 1608. Captain Alfred Dreyfus, the Malouz native whose childhood home is shown here, wrongly accused of treason in 1894, he was sent to jail in French Guiana and finally rehabilitated in 1906. Malouz's majestic synagogue has survived two tragedies. Initially damaged by the Nazis, it was slated to be destroyed for an annex of the city's theater. It was saved at the last moment and worship resumed after liberation. The impressive synagogue of Strasbourg features a replica on display of the former consistorial synagogue at Cake Le Bear that was burned down by the Nazis in 1940. The choir of the synagogue accompanied by the Orchestra of Kale, one of France's most dynamic and important Jewish communities, can be found in this symbolic place. Music. The language of emotions is a moment of sharing, open to all. Mightier than the sword is my spirit, words that resonate deeply, never forget, and do not yield to the sword of obscurantism.